Shalom. I'm Moray Matan, and welcome to this week's Moray Minute. This week's Torah portion starts off with an amazing description of Aaron's job of lighting the lamps in the menorah. Now, the rabbis tell us that Aaron was a little disappointed that he did not bring an offering uh, along with the tribe of Levi, of Levi, for the inauguration of the tabernacle, and he felt badly about that. But that God said to him that you have a special job and your act of offering is to kindle this lamp. Because if the tabernacle or temple should ever be destroyed, those offerings that are brought will cease, but the light of the menorah will go on forever. Now, how do we keep the light of the menorah going on forever? After all, it's not lit right now. The temple has been destroyed for the last 2,000 years. And the rabbis give us two explanations. Number one, the Hanukkah, the Hanukkah lights, they keep the light going in a way, but also by us studying and doing Torah, we are keeping the eternal light going. We keep the menorah going in ourselves. Now, how do we do that? We do that by our own actions and also, and probably especially, by inspiring actions from others. It is said by the rabbis that the wick does not light unless you hold the flame to it long enough for it to develop its own flame. It begins to burn on its own. And that's what we need to do with one another. Our flame of mitzvot, our flame of worship, it needs to ignite others around us. You know, the other thing that's interesting is it says that there were steps or some, some, some rabbis talk about it being a stool that was in front of the menorah that Aaron had to step up on in order to reach the lamps to light them properly. Now that's interesting because as he's kindling, he himself is raised up. And the rabbis say that in a way, that's how we are in our lives. As we help kindle the light in others, we too are elevated in the process. I think that's a beautiful thought. And I think it can be inspiring for us all around the world. If you really want to do what God commands, we can't just be an island. None of us are supposed to be lone rangers. We need to not only be doing those good works that God planned for us to do in the beginning, as the scripture says, we need to not only do them ourselves, but we need to be inspiring others to do them as well. As it is said by the sages of Israel, one mitzvah leads to another, and not just in our own lives, but in the lives of those around us. Are you kindling flames around you? Who is kindling the flame in you? We need to have this unbroken chain, those who inspire us and then we inspire others so that the light of the Torah would continue going and going and so that it will not be extinguished. Thank you once again for joining me. I am Moray Matan, and if you'd like to study with me in the Kosher Pastor program, you can go to kosherpastor.com. You can also, if you're from Africa or of African descent, go to af.shuvu.tv. Or if you'd like to study in the larger yeshiva with us, go to shuvu.tv to fill out an application there. Thank you once again for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Shalom and Koltuv.